Hey, welcome to Peep Oya. I'm Akash and I'm bringing you a live news reaction on one of the greatest news of this century, I believe. Mark Zuckerberg has just announced the introduction of Jarvis. Now, he said 11 months back that he's going to bring Jarvis, the artificial intelligence platform from right from the Avengers and Iron Man's room to Facebook to his life and for all of us. Now, he has done that and I think uh, you must watch this. It's been only 60 minutes and already there are 2.2 million views on this post that he just made one hour back. He said after a year of coding, here is Jarvis. Let's look at the video and I'll talk about the concept. It's actually not artificial intelligence per se as you see in the movies, but something other than that. It's called as IoT. We'll talk about that, but let's look at this video first. Good morning, Jarvis. Good morning, Mark. It's Saturday, so you only have five meetings. Room temperature is set to a cool 68 degrees. Earlier this year, I started building a simple AI to help run our home. I talked to Jarvis using this app I built. It uses artificial intelligence to understand me and figure out what to do. Max woke up a few minutes ago. I'm entertaining her. All right, let's go check on her. Good morning, Max. Let's practice sound Mandarin. Jarvis, your Mandarin is so soothing. Jarvis also helps me get ready in the morning. Fresh shirt. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jarvis knows when to make me breakfast. Your toast is ready. All right. Wow. It's time for my call with Shrek. Can you get him on the video conference line? Setting up the DC room now. Remember to check on the AI guidance system for Akila. One of the best things about Jarvis is it can recognize people at the gate, let them in automatically, and then just tell me about it. Mark, your parents are coming in. Frank, Jeffrey. It's Jarvis. And Jarvis can play all of our favorite music. Hey, play us some good Nickelback songs. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm afraid I can't do that. There are no good Nickelback songs. <laughs> good. That was actually a test. Okay, how about just play some songs that our whole family likes? <laughs> what? I'm a dad now. This is what I listen to. Jarvis also likes to join our family for playtime. Who should we tickle next? I think we should tickle Max. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also experimenting with other voices. Stop her! She's getting away! Do it now! <laughs> and if I don't want to talk, I can just text Jarvis through a messenger bot that I built. Mark, I'm trying to read in here. Yeah, my bad. So this has been pretty fun. But I need some more ideas for Jarvis, so leave them in the comments and I'll try to build some of them. Alright, movie time, Jarvis. You got it, Mark. First, I need to teach you to make me some more popcorn. <laughs> Whoa. Now this is this is crazy, man. This is this is really, really crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna just blow this up so that I can talk to you and you can watch me. Now, did you did you see one thing, guys? There was a voice of somebody who we all know very well, Morgan Freeman. I'm, I'm just doubting, is Morgan going to be the official voice of Jarvis? We'll, we'll see that. And there was Arnold also, but I think Arnold was just an experiment that he was doing. But I think Morgan is the official voice. Maybe, maybe not. Now, uh, here is Morgan for you, by the way. <laughs> okay. Now, coming back to... What is the concept behind? I think this is great, but but what this would be all about? What is artificial intelligence to do with this? No, I think it's more to do with IoT. And guys, let let me just talk about Internet of Things, IoT, what it is, and you know how different it is than WWW, which is World Wide Web, which took over the world by storm in nineties. Now I think IoT is gonna do that now. So the World Wide Web, you know, the uh, is in Information space, uh, I can explain it like information space where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locators, which is URL, interlinked by hypertext links and can be accessed via the internet, right? So that 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 is World Wide Web. Now, what is Internet of Things? So the Internet of Things is the inter-networking of physical devices, okay? Where, for example, vehicles also refer to as connected devices and smart devices, buildings and other items embedded with like electronics, like he was talking about mobile phones, geezers, software sensors, actuators, and network connectivity that enables these objects to collect and exchange data. Now, he showed various examples. He was talking about TV, uh, the microwave oven, his car, the lights. His, and, and I think what he has done is he has enabled this through a software app. 
uh, which can be accessed by smartphones so he, he can text via the messenger he said so i think uh, he has used the concept and technology of internet of things in a the best possible manner now let's quickly see what internet of things look like so this is a picture which explains it very very well where you know all these objects all these devices are actually connected with each other and they are exchanging the data between each other to do certain tasks and i think this all is being programmed through one app or one software which is i think uh, is the mobile app which he was talking about and he was experimenting with all sort of voices which was again very very interesting now let's very very uh, let's look at the definition you know which is given in iot in various public forums so one of them which i personally like this this one so a thing in the internet of things can be a person with a heart monitor implant a farm animal with a biochip transponder an automobile that is built in sensors to alert the driver when tire pressure is low or any other natural or man made object that can be assigned any ip address and provided with the ability to transfer data over a network IoT has evolved from the convergence of wireless technologies, microelectromechanical systems, microservices and their internet. The convergence has helped tear down the silo walls between operational technology and information technology, allowing unstructured machine generated data to be analyzed for insights that will drive improvements. Now this is what has happened here. This is what Jarvis is all about. But this is great stuff. I think uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg such a simple guy and yet he does so incredible things. You know, you can see in the video how modest he looks and how simple he looks and he, he's a great guy. So uh, I'm excited and I think the whole world is as well. So uh, this is great. And if you want to have the similar news reactions, uh, do subscribe to this channel and till we meet next, let's keep uncovering the hidden. Goodbye.